In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the Grammarly Citation Generator efficiently and effectively, all within just five minutes. This tool can be a lifesaver for anyone seeking to accurately credit sources and streamline their writing process. So, let's get started on this journey to mastering citation generation. The first step in this process is to navigate to the Grammarly website, open your favourite web browser and type in Grammarly in the search bar, or simply enter Grammarly's URL directly if you're familiar with it. Once the page loads, you'll either want to log into your existing Grammarly account or if you're new, click on the option that says, I have an account. If you don't see this, look for a login button which should be prominently displayed. With your login details at the ready, enter your email address into the provided field. As you do this, ensure everything is accurate to prevent any login issues. Once your email is entered, find the continue button and click it. This will take you into the main Grammarly interface where the real magic begins. Now you'll want to open a new document. Do this by clicking on new document from your dashboard. This action sets up a fresh workspace for you to input or generate content using Grammarly's advanced tools. Next, find an article online that you wish to cite. This could be anything from a recent news item to a scholarly article, as long as it's relevant to your writing task. Once you have your article selected, head back to your Grammarly document and look for the Write with Generative AI feature. Click on it and then prompt Grammarly's AI to summarize the article for you. This summary will give you a concise version of the source, perfect for brief mentions or integrating with your existing text. After you're satisfied with the AI generated summary, insert it into your document by clicking insert. This feature automatically places the summarized text into your workspace, so you don't have to worry about copy pasting errors. Once the text is neatly inserted, it's time to create that all important citation. Navigate back to your web browser where your article is open. Highlight the URL from the address bar and copy it by right clicking and selecting copy or by pressing Ctrl plus C on your keyboard. Return to Grammarly and prompt it to create a citation for the document. In doing so, paste the copied URL into the prompt field. This helps Grammarly generate a proper citation based on the source's web address. Finally, go ahead and click on the insert option once your citation is generated to add it directly into your document. And just like that, you're finished. You've not only summarized valuable information, but have correctly cited the source using Grammarly's citation generator. Whether you're writing an academic paper or a personal project, these steps will ensure your work is credible and well-organized.